Hello, my name is Mohammed, resident student number 12957066 and I'll be talking about obstructive sleep apnea. Meet Diana, a 51-year-old married woman with two sons. Diana always experiences exhaustion and even when she is relaxing at home, she would still be exhausted. When she is asleep, she snores heavily which prevents her husband from getting much sleep. In a funny incident, she reports, I went to have a facial with a girlfriend recently. We were talking, then I noticed she was giggling. I asked why and she said I had suddenly fallen asleep and started snoring. Diana is one of 34% of Australians who suffer from obstructive sleep apnea, which often not only leaves patients feeling tired as they don't get much sleep during the night and causes them to snore heavily, but also has the symptoms of poor memory, concentration, headaches, as well as rapid weight gain. Obstructive sleep apnea is characterized by repeated episodes of airway obstruction during sleep due to the relaxation of the tongue and airway muscles. Normally, the airway, which consists of the nose, mouth, throat, and windpipe, remains open, allowing oxygen to flow unobstructed to the lungs. However, in obstructive sleep apnea, the pharyngeal muscles abnormally relax, completely blocking the airway and preventing the flow of oxygen to the lungs. These periods where a person momentarily stops breathing or apneas, literally meaning without breath, can last from seconds to minutes and can reoccur dozens of times per hour. While this narrowing of the airways may be genetic, there are a number of factors which make it more likely to occur. In many cases, a person's body weight is directly linked to having obstructive sleep apnea, as excess fatty tissue can build up in the neck and throat area and contribute to blocking the airways. In children, however, enlarged tonsils or adenoids have been the leading cause of obstructive sleep apnea. Another factor includes smoking. Smoking acts as an irritant and can cause inflammation to the upper airways and impede airflow. For some people, treating sleep apnea means altering their sleeping position. This is because some apneas occur because a person is sleeping flat on their backs. For others, treating sleep apnea is not that simple. With over half of obstructive sleep apnea sufferers being overweight, treating sleep apnea means losing weight. However, as these people are often tired, sleep deprived and have low blood oxygen levels, losing weight by exercise can be difficult. Because these lifestyle changes may be difficult to make, some people opt for the option of surgery. The image shows a before and after picture of a tonsillectomy and an adenoidectomy, which involves the removal of the tonsils and the adenoids. However, surgery has a 40% success rate and can leave patients in pain for several years. This often means that patients are required to take time off work. Moreover, surgery also comes with the risk of developing reactions and swelling complications. And worst of all, sleep apnea can reappear after a couple of years. Surgery is therefore not the miracle cure it promises to be. Another treatment which has been held the gold standard in, in sleep apnea treatment is con are continuous positive airway pressure devices or CPAP devices as, a, as they are known for short. These devices consist of a motor hose, of a motor, a hose and a mask and work by pre and prevent the airway from collapsing by allowing air by blowing air at a constant pressure throughout the airways. Patients who adhere to CPAP often see immediate results, including the elimination of, of snoring and breathing obstructions, improvement in the quality of their night sleep, lower blood pressure both during the day and at night, as well as increased alertness during the day. However, wearing a mask while sleeping has proven to be challenging to most patients with with almost half of patients who start using CPAP eventually stopping to use it. Wearing the mask often makes feel patients feel feeling claustrophobic and can cause facial irritation. It prevents, it prevents them from sleeping in a comfortable position and also makes them embarrassed from other people seeing the CPAP equipment. With these limitations in mind, the Tema Inspire Medical System developed Inspire Upper Airway Stimulation Therapy to treat patients for whom CPAP has not been effective. Approved by the FDA in 2014, Inspire Upper Airway Stimulation Therapy consists of an implantable pulse generator which is surgically placed under the in the sub sub subcutaneous tissues. A stimulation lead runs from the imp implantable pulse generator to the hypoglossal nerve adjacent to the base of the tongue. A sensing lead runs in the opposite direction from the stimulation lead to lie over the chest wall allowing it to monitor the respiratory cycle. During sleep, the Inspire system senses breathing patterns and delivers mild stimulation to the tongue and other soft, tish soft tissues of the throat to keep the airway open. The Inspire upper airway stimulation therapy also comes with a remote control allowing the patient to turn it on 
before they sleep and not when they wake up. The Thema Inspire medical system have therefore been able to create a device that removes the disadvantages of CPAP and does not interfere with the daily activities of the patient, requires low maintenance and also has been proven effective with 78% with reduction in the apnea related events per hour during the night as well as a 76% reduction in snoring. However, the device isn't without its de deficiencies. Unlike CPAP, the device requires an invasive procedure and is not available to many obese patients as it, res it is restricted to patients with a BMI of less than 32. Moreover, as the device is fairly new, it costs around 20000 and with a better life of 11 years, it means that the patient will need to regularly change it. While research still needs to be made to make Inspire Upper Airway Stimulation Therapy available to a wider diversity of patients and more, affo and more affordable, Inspire Upper Airway Stimulation Therapy has restored the quality of life for sufferers like Diana, giving them the energy they need to go about their life. Thank you and I wish you a good night's sleep.